Hi guys, I'm here with a quick haul for you. Is it quick? I don't know if it's gonna be quick because I talk too much, but let's see. Okay, first I wanted to try out, um, you know, Amazon Prime, they have something called Prime Now. And um, it's an app, you can only get Prime Now stuff from your app, you can't get it from your regular Prime account online. Um, so I wanted to try it out and I was like, let me see what I can get. And I wanted to get something for my other half um, because I was celebrating, this was what, last week, or last week I think it was, I got a raise, yay, after seven years, I got me a raise, I just gotta let loose sometimes. One of the items that I got for myself, not one, two of the items that I got for myself, uh, came in the little bag here, and how it works is that they schedule a pickup, not a pickup, a delivery time, so I had ordered this, um, like almost... 12 o'clock it was just a few minutes before 12 o'clock and they give you like a two-hour window now with prime now you can get it in within two hours is what they advertise um, but they gave a two-hour window so from 2 to 4 p.m. and the other thing I have is a I bought a, a stand-up George Foreman grill um, and it was a pretty big pretty significant big thing and I think that's probably why it took a little bit longer for me to get it, but I got it like right at the two hour mark. The weird thing is, is that when I purchased this, there is an option that it says for the tip and it automatically, my 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 purchase came out to be over $100. Actually, it was just shy of 100, but with tax and all that stuff, it was just over $100. So they automatically stuck a tip in there of 10 bucks and I was like, mm, no. So I was gonna put no tip, but I was like, uh, you know, that's kind of mean. So I put five bucks for a tip. But that's the, the, the thing that's weird. You don't have to put a tip, I don't think, because you could change the tip to zero if you wanted to. But I, I you know, I, I just, I didn't want to do that. Feel bad. You give tip to people that deliver you food. Why couldn't you give a tip to someone that's carrying in this humongous box for you? So anyway, so what I ordered from Amazon Prime now, you can also get delivery for in one hour from Amazon Prime too, just to let you know. Um, you do have to pay a little bit extra fee. I got these little... Um, it says med organizer, um, but I thought it would be really great to use it for my vanity and just put like brushes or something on one side. You could put lipsticks or something in here or I don't know, here, let's put some of my favorite things in there, huh? Some perfume, whatever. You can put some of your favorite things right there on the front um, where they're not just sliding all over your countertop. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got two of those and these were $8 and some odd change a piece. Not too bad. They do have little handles on either side. They're actually made to fit inside of a medicine cabinet. So if you have a medicine cabinet and you wanted to organize something, this would be a perfect fit for that. But I just thought it would be great for my vanity. And I think what I'm gonna do is put the two of them side by side so that I can just have like a thicker width. That's my plan. Um, I sadly deleted half of the footage from this video, but the good thing is, is that I can tell you about most of the things because I tried almost the majority of it, not all of it. So, um, I ordered from Ulta. I had a gift card from Valentine's Day that I hadn't used yet, so I went ahead and used that gift card and I got all these awesome goodies. Um, I can tell you I'll be returning two items from here and I'll explain why. So. The first thing I want to show you is one of my favorite things. It is the Tarte Poppy Picnic Palette. Oh, the packaging is amazing, number one. And um, it's been used, it's got all my fingerprints all over it, but it's such a pretty package. It really, really is. Forgive the neighbors next door screaming like crazy kids. They're having a birthday party, so. And they have this awesome water slide. I would show you, but. They're in, like in their little bathing suits, nobody's business. But they have this water slide that they brought in and it goes right into the pool. So awesome. Anyway, that's not what this is about. This is about the haul. So um, let me show you what this looks like. It is so beautiful, so pretty. I've used it a few times so the palette is not as gorgeous as it looked like when I first got it. Yeah, that's all my junk down there that I wanna talk about. Oh, Indian style. Um, so anyway, there's the palette right there. So over here on this side, it's got, these are all matte shades. Um, so this is a very light, light, like brow bone color. This is a little brown, but it's got like a little bit pink tone to it, a reddish tone to it. Actually, all of them have like a little reddish tone to them, even though they're browns. 
Um, the blush is great. I'm wearing it today. Um, and then this is like just a more neutral kind of brow bone color. It's a little bit darker, but it's still skin tone color. And this I have all over my lids. This is a beautiful pink color and it's got great pigment on the lids. And then this is just a brown, like again, with a little red tint to it. So I've been loving this. I have it on my eyes today. Um, the only thing I wish that they didn't do is have the names on this clear plastic. So in order for me to know the names, I have to keep the little plastic thing in there. Um, that's the only thing that I wish was different. But everything, great pigment, great, great everything. I've been loving that. Really? Do they have to scream like that? Next, I got the L'Oreal La Nude, La Palette Nude, number one and number two. I saw this on a few channels, on Leticia's channel, who I actually want to give away from recently. I saw this on Tati's channel, Glam Life, Glam Life Guru, and I really wanted to try these palettes out. They are $19.99 in Ulta, and when I purchased these, it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I paid $19 for one, and... Um, ten dollars for the other so not too bad plus I think I had um, like a coupon code for whatever amount off of you know anything that's not prestige cosmetics so the color payoff on them is really really nice I've been using which one have I been using both of them actually but I like the nude one palette more so than the two but I really like both of them to be honest it comes with a brush and a sponge tip applicator, which is really nice. I haven't used it yet um, because I have my own brushes that I prefer to use, but let me show you the colors. So this is the one down here is on the bottom. Um, really, really fantastic neutral shades. The color payoff is phenomenal. And this is the two, two palette. So more pinky tones, um, but I actually like pink and nudes, um, bronzy nudes. So both of these palettes are really great for me. Um, I'll just kind of, um, let me scoop back a little bit here. So I'll just kind of swatch a few of them um, here. The color is really nice. I just dug my fingers into one of the shades. Smart, Annette. Really smart. So these are colors from the Nude One palette. Really pretty colors. Okay, so this is the Two palette. So let me just grab these two. Let me move along over here, skip to and here are the colors here my hands a little bit wet so it might come off a little bit bolder and a little bit darker because my hands are wet from the wipey so you can see if you put a little um mister to it you'll probably get some brighter bolder colors let me know that grab these last four shades right here really pretty i like this one here this is the light pink one so you can see that how pretty that is and that's the two palette so if you use them a little bit wet, a little bit damp, you're gonna get much better payoff. Got lots of sound effects going on, got a party going on next door. All right, um, the particular day that I purchased from Ulta, they had this Juice Beauty that you can, if you purchase whatever it was, that you would get this for free, and this is 40 something dollars. Um, also with the Tarte Palette, if you purchase the Tarte Palette, you would get this Maracuja Neck Treatment for free, and this was $10. So right there, there's, um, what, 40, 50, $50 worth of free stuff. And I also bought some perfume samples, not samples, roller balls. I took out the beautiful packaging that it was in there. But I got these three roller balls. Um, this is the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. These are the different Daisy scents. Um, so I love them all, they're really nice. Again, it came in like this cute little tin. And when you purchased $40 worth of perfume or something like that, you will get a free bag. And the bag right here, so cute, this is uh, $40 for the bag, which I got for free. So I got about $90 worth of free items from Ulta. Um, I did get a couple of extra ultra, extra scents, sample scents. Um, I don't know which ones they were. I have all my scents all jumbled up together. Um, I also purchased the Bye Bye Under Eye. This is in tan. This is a lot, matches my skin tone a lot more. Um, I have the neutral, what's it called? Neutral medium. And I'll go ahead and swatch both of them because this is the one that I had and it's like really white, white, white. I would use this under the eye, obviously, um, and to spot conceal here and there. So I'll show you both of them. All right, so the one on the bottom here, this is the tan, and the one on the top is the 
the um, neutral medium, which you can see it's almost white. And then the tan is more, you know, more my skin tone. So they're very highly pigmented. They cover up anything under the sun. Right now I've been kind of mixing the two together to put it underneath my eyes and it's really nice. It covers very well. It doesn't crease for me. I know some people say that it creases for them, but it doesn't crease for me. It, I really like it and I'm glad I have both the, the shades. The other one was almost empty, so I, was, I needed a replacement. Um, so I'm glad I got that one. Um, and then next what I ordered, I ordered a couple of the high voltage lipsticks from NYX. This one is in Flutter Kiss, which I actually got from Nikki Murphy's giveaway, and I have that one here. It's actually on my lips right now, so um, I'm going to end up returning this one because I already have it. And then the other one is in Tangerine, and this one is a very light. It's not the color that I was hoping for, but I can use it in combination with some other colors. So um, it's it's okay, it's nice, it's very light, and on the lips, it's extremely light. But it's really pretty, and you can use it to add with others. So I'll just add it actually on the top of this one. So they actually go good together, the Flutter Kiss and the Tangerine. So, and those were buy one, get one free as well. So they were, um, I believe they were $5.99 and one was $3. So did I say get one free? I meant 50% off, not free. Um, the perfume, it was $44 for the perfume, which is why I got the bag for free. And then lastly, this is the one I was hoping I was gonna love. And actually when I used it the first time, I really did love it. This is the Becca foundation and this one is in the color Buttercup. It has a great package on here. It's really beautiful, very sleek packaging. And um, it is, it has a, it's full coverage, but it just doesn't sit well on my skin. The first day I used it, it was beautiful when I first put it on, but we went out and then midday, not even midday, it was early mid, the end of the morning, not even the afternoon yet. It was separating like on my chin, and on my cheeks, it just looked like it was just sitting on top. It just, it had a weird look to it. And I was, I was like, well, maybe I shouldn't use the primer that I had on. I tried it with a few other primers and it just still did the same thing. It was kind of like just separating. It just looked weird. I couldn't blend it in. It just sat on top of my skin. It was awful. I tried using it a few times. Um, when I wore it to work, I was embarrassed. I was like, don't even come close to my face, please. It looked really bad. All right, so let's see here. Put a little tiny pump on my hand right here. You're gonna see how full coverage this stuff is. This is super duper highly pigmented stuff. Um, just that little tiny piece on my hand. If I put just a little dot, it's highly pigmented. But it just doesn't play well with my skin. It doesn't like my skin type. If you have oily skin like I do, maybe you're gonna have the same problem. I don't know, it just does not like my skin. It sits on there so bad. So, but you can see, if you just put a little tiny dab, like right there, I have like a little scar on my hand. A little tiny dab, and it's gonna cover up everything. It covers beautifully, it's beautiful. But it doesn't play nice with my skin. It just, it just doesn't. You know, again, it's probably just my skin type. It it covers beautifully. It looked beautiful. It just didn't play nice. It just didn't. So I've been, I switched over and I'm starting to use my Kat Von D foundation again. Um, someone had mentioned it and I said, hmm, let me go ahead and try to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade this in for the Tarte because I know I love the Tarte foundation and I'm definitely going to go back to Ulta and trade this in. So that is my plan. So again, if you have oily skin, you may not be happy with this. And this foundation is $44. Yeah, no. I was looking to get the Cover FX um, drops that you can add to your moisturizer, you can add to your sunscreen, you can add to whatever you wanted, any of your BB creams to give it more coverage, um, to your other foundations to make the right shade, or to add more coverage to your other foundations that maybe you love. Um, but that's at Sephora and not at Ulta, so I couldn't find that there. But 
So that, I think that's everything. Yes, it is. So that was everything that I got from Ulta. Um, and I hope I helped you out a little bit on if you were thinking about purchasing something and it um, maybe it helped you or it hindered you, I'm not sure. Um, but thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you again in another video. Bye. Gosh, do they have to scream so loud? Oh, God.